So, like, I, I know people are just been infatuated with this election week stuff with the presidential with Biden and Trump. But, you know, the when you vote, it's, a lot of times it's way more important than that. It's about the local stuff. Like, we keep talking about in Black Power Magic Hour. It's like getting the stop sign. It's like getting, like, the Klansman out of your city council member. But, you know, there's been ballot measures that kind of got overlooked because of what's happening with Trump saying crazy stuff. So I just want to talk about that real quick because that's kind of some positive stuff going on. But also want to also want to contrast between like how the post talks about it and how like other ne- other outlets because the post kinds of make it seem like it's kind of a goofy goofy doofy thing happening. So um, well, well, first of all, I got to give a shout out to a friend of the show, uh, Louis Rossman. Now that we're talking about the items that are on ballots uh, uh, locally, I believe it was in Massachusetts they voted yes on item number one regarding automotive right to repair see in the state the uh you you had all of these uh special interest groups that were lobbying throwing a whole bunch of money uh putting on commercials that were telling people that if you allow a third party independent repair technician work on your car that they were going to take that data that they probably don't even have access to that they were going to take the data and then like follow you into a parking lot and rape you. I am not exaggerating. They played two different style commercials in the state to try to get the voters to vote no on item one. The first one they showed, they showed somebody breaking into your house after using your location data to then follow wherever your car is and then go in and, you know, do some uh, you know, do some evil things to you in your home. And, th- and then the second commercial, they showed a woman walking by herself in an empty parking lot. And then somebody like rushes up on her. Oh my God. But the voters did not fall for the fear mongering. They voted uh, yes, overwhelmingly 75 to 25. They voted overwhelmingly to preserve uh, our rights as consumers to do what we want with the things that we purchase. And if we choose to fix it, we have that right. And if we want a certain technician to be able to fix what we paid for, we should have that right. So I just wanted to shout that out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, but there's been other huge things happening. For, for some reason, the Post likes to, like, cover things in, like, in a goofy way. Mm-hmm. You know, like, uh, Mississippi will leave a new state flag. So now people won't be scared to drive into Mississippi anymore. Cause they don't see it. <laughs> so that's awesome. You know, you won't see the scary ass flag, you know, like when you drive, drive down the interstate. So that's pretty exciting for a lot of black people for like, for a long time. Um, don't get pretty- too excited though. And another thing we got to talk about people being afraid to go to different States in this country. You know, I'm seeing, you know, a lot of memes where they're saying that, you know, they're looking after the current, Electoral, and they're saying, "Well, this state says blue." But, but that's just reaction. State- but that's just reactionary stuff, like because like people have been road tripping. I know. Road tripping I just want to make this point. reactionary garbage. You know, I know. I just want to make this. I just want to make this you know, point. So, right. Yeah. Don't don't fall for the Kool Aid about blue state this or red state that. If you go in and you look at these precincts, you'll see that even in the blue states, the majority of the state geographically is red. So this does not mean that if you, because you see a blue state that you can just go exactly. in there will and because, willy like, nilly because people be sharing, people be sharing like the New York State map people sh- if you share and yeah look, look at, at the, the fucking map, New York State map it's all red baby <laughs> it's yeah. like it's if all you red go, <laughs> it's if like, you go to Queens like we just talked about this the other night about yeah, it's all New you York know state, them putting like Jersey, dummies Black Carl, with Antifa Black on their back it's all oh, red oh yeah you know we're gonna run them over yeah that was in Queens New York yeah it's like that was in that was in Broad Channel we talked about I used I grew up there my grandmother would drive up and down there and pick the newspaper up. The Every girl Sunday. that's right next to us, Staten Island, yeah, pure that, red, 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 like almost heavy, like Super over, over it was like over 60 percent. Over, yeah. like it was like a crazy, crazy number, yeah, it's a crazy number. Long Island, yeah, yeah, you know, so, if you go north of Westchester County, like New York City is not all of New York, yes, we have most of the population, but. When you look at it, most of the state is red. If you if you look at each individual state, even in the red states, and you look at the major cities, they're all they're almost all blue. Yeah, exactly. The main the metropolitan centers of so, all these. You know, different... don't don't sleep. Oh, that's what's ha- uh, this, that's what's this state voted Georgia for right now. you know, so we're good. We can just no. Nah, there's still a lot of sundown right towns all around the country. 
that's what happened in Georgia right now. They have this, the ballots that count in, like in Fulton County, all these different counties, which is like majority black within like a lot of red counties. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but there's, so other, yeah, there's other ballot attention. measures. There's other ballot measures that are like pretty cool and um, uh, dumb, uh, really dumb, actually. Like California voters actually voted for Uber and Lyft to like, you know, keep exploiting them for some reason. So that's what happened in California. Well, the thing is, they know that, see, see, this is one of those really nasty things where people claim to be pro progressive, but yeah. when it's about to touch their own pockets, then you see where their real interests lie. They don't <laughs> really care about the disenfranchised worker. What they care about is, well, where my car and Lyft come on time. Charge, <laughs> but, you know, but, tw twice the amount or triple <laughs> the amount for a ride. And yeah. I want to continue to pay seven dollars instead of paying twenty one. Yeah, yeah. So this is what happened. In, unfortunately, California is really disappointed. Really disappointing vote. Next bike, you, you're on some other shit. Yeah. Bugs Bunny could still cut Florida into the ocean though. Just replace that state with Puerto Rico. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Well, you should see the votes in Florida. Like uh, uh, Puerto Ricans in Florida voted heavily. Like over. I think over 75% for Trump and then Cubans for some reason it was like 60%, 63% for, for Trump in Florida. So that's another story. But speaking of Florida, Florida finally passed the Remember, he of, threw rolls of he, he threw rolls of of, uh, of told, paper towels at <laughs> you after a fucking natural disaster. He threw them at you like it was a fucking game. <laughs> that's how you know it's a fucking cult. Like how many people voted for Donald Trump? Who lost a family member because he told them, "Don't worry about the Rona." Yeah, exactly. And that's what told, happened. Hey, you know, like you know, we're doing our part. I right? mean, they voted. You know, we, I we mean, sacrificed they, they, our they, lives. They didn't North Dakota. They voted for a dead guy, a dead who died from COVID nineteen, and they voted for him. So, so that's what's going on in a lot, a lot of places in this country. So but, he wanted to trade Puerto Rico for Greenland. Yeah, so, that makes a whole lot of sense. Like for like Florida. Like Florida's an interesting place, you know. Like it, it raised the minimum wage to fifteen dollars, even though it should be it should have been fifteen dollars five years ago. But at least they did that. But it'll be fifteen dollars cool. in twenty twenty six. They're like, nah, we do want to get paid, just not right now. We want to get paid when the minimum wage should be like thirty five dollars an hour, like twenty twenty six. So that's what's going on in Florida. But that's pretty good because it shows. At the same time, it shows that Florida can do that. Then like the possibilities are. Who knows what's going to happen in the next the possibilities two to four years. are endless. So, so it's a positive story in a way that Florida can raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. Then anything is possible at this point, you know. So, um, and then Denver for some reason has been abusing bit pit bulls for like thirty years. So finally, like they lift the ban um, on pit bulls. Pit bulls discrimination, dog discrimination. That's a whole other conversation. Dogs get discriminated against. So you know, I, I know that personally. I've like. I remember now is dealing with um, eviction because they have a Wattweiler. And because the Wattweiler is a really puppy, it's like six months old. And it's like a, a total baby. So but even though it's big, so if it plays around, it plays much bigger. So right. I guess, that, but if you're a black family with a pit bull with a Wattweiler, they go right away to New Jack City to think like they're like, <laughs> <laughs> they see New Jack City, they see Nino the Brown. They, you could be a black, you could be an old black lady, and they just see Nino Brown with a Wattweiler. So that's yeah. what's so like so pitfall. So this is kind of like pretty cool that um, Denver's lift the ban on pitfalls, and Maryland has lift the ban on sports gambling. Good for Maryland for some reason, you know. You no, know, the stimulus bill is not going to pass, so it's we start get the odds going for gambling. So that's hey, gonna, man, like. Yeah. The amount of money that they got in their pocket is not enough to pay the rent. So if you're going to end up homeless, you might as well, you know, bet, bet the over. I, I don't know. Exactly. But like, <laughs> you know, or maybe you might get lucky and be able to, and win something and be able to pay your rent. I don't know. So this is how, like, um, the New York Post is covering kind of the bottom measures. So if you read the New York Post, you just think, like, some goofy stuff happened. Um, mushrooms, get high on some shrooms and stuff in Oregon. But if you want to go a little deeper about the measures, which is like where we talk about Black Pearl Magic Hour, um, we talk about the cops. We talk about we don't want a, a car fall into a giant pothole when we're driving down the street. <laughs> you know, these kind of things we talk about Black Pearl Magic Hour that everyone worries about. So, so yeah, this all I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I got to say, like, I'm, I'm very disappointed in some of the things that I heard from some of the rank and file uh, Democrats who are a little right of left on the Democrat side, uh, blaming 
you know, they were blaming the fact that people were talking about defunding the police as the reason why they lost a lot of seats in the House of Representatives. That is not and what, true. And what and what really irks my nerves is that I'm some regular, regular smegular dude from Brooklyn that never paid attention to politics until this year, until I started doing this show. I've been actively avoiding politics of all kind. But even I know what defund the police defund the police actually means. So to see people who are supposed to be in power and are supposed to know about all this legal shit, I know more about what defund the police actually means than these fucking politicians. I get frustrated when people say like defund the police is like a scary term. Like, you know. Yeah, like it's fear mongering. Yeah. Oh my God! If 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 you if you go to a third party and let them fix your car, he's gonna rape your wife. Like that's exactly what the fuck it sounds like. <laughs> exactly. Like we're, we're gonna we're gonna like open. We're gonna just let loose all the we're gonna let loose all the sociopaths and murderers out in the streets. Like like let them yeah. all loose. And 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 the, and the thing is, and remember, we, if we go back to our uh, to episode zero of Black Power yeah. Magic Hour, go check that shit out. Uh, we spoke to a young man who is running for city council right here in New York City that said, hey, we want to make the cops' jobs easier to do. We want to give you less shit that you have to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I want the cops to, like, worry about not being cops anymore. But but, but I want to go into, like, what's actually happening, what the reality of it, which is, like, kind of, like, this article real quick pretty much says that there were 20 local police-related measures that qualified for ballot after the killing of George Floyd. This is after the killing of George Floyd. But I want to give context because to get shit on the ballot, it takes momentum. It is not because Joyce Floyd died and his ballots appeared out of nowhere. This is like momentum from organizers in those communities for years. So I want to get, I hate when people try to contextualize things that this, oh, this one black guy dies and all this magical stuff happens. No, this is stuff people have been fighting for for a long time, bro. So nah, it um, wasn't the fact that he died, yeah. it was the manner in which he died that anybody that has a soul, a pulse, a heart, uh, any kind of moral fiber. They so, look so, at that and they say, this is disgusting and we're not going to accept this. Hence, part of so, the reason we why we saw the kind of victory that Biden got in the state of Minnesota. So luckily in Los Angeles, Los Angeles is like the biggest city that actually like approved the measure that came the closest to like kind of the fund the police movement, which is like they require like 10% of their general uh local revenue to go towards like kind of like you know substance abuse social services cut the supplemental re-entry services that we talk about that's important that keeps if you if you fund these programs it'd be less likely for people to ever see a cop in the street so so los angeles is actually doing something like that you know you know inch by inch which is pretty exciting and that was approved in los angeles um san francisco is passing the measure that you know, unlike New York City, where it's just like this swarm of cops everywhere for no reason, um, San Francisco is so like we don't need to hire so many fucking cops. We don't need like an army in our fucking city. So um, I don't mean to curse so much, but I mean, nah, just, yeah, I mean nah, like, say what you gotta say, son. <laughs> say with your chest, nigga. I mean, <laughs> I mean, San Francisco is like we don't need an army in the streets. We we can like figure out how we can like you know manage this without having a whole army. So San Francisco passed that measure, mm. and then like. Um, so then also as well, it kind of briefs it in this way. Unfortunately, it kind of makes it really slim. But I want to elaborate on this about the police oversight boards because police oversight boards have existed in cities for like a long time. But it's but like, but who's in the police oversight board? All the police officers. So it's been like kind of like <laughs> in police in like you know, so it's been not not really working we've well. We've investigated so. ourselves and we've determined that we are guilty <laughs> of no wrongdoing. So over the years, it's been like, okay, can we have like at least like a politician on it, or like someone's not a police officer? Yeah, it's a politician so over the year, would make it better. So over the years, it's been kind of like, okay, now can we just have normal people on the civilian board on the police <laughs> oversight? This people off the street, at least, you know. So finally, like, how about like, the person that got cracked in the fucking head? Yeah, yeah. So thrown is, on the fucking ground. Put them so, on the board. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This is, so this was happening in different cities. Now they're like, okay, let's at least have normal people or the people affected by the police on these boards to make the decisions. So, um, so now we're getting closer to that kind of stuff. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. And these Just are good. A, a little update. Yeah. Uh, we're within 2000 votes in Georgia right now. We're 2, in the 1.9,000 difference now in Georgia right now. It's, it's, it's real in the fucking field right now. 
They got yes. the they got the same percentage, forty nine point four percent of the vote, both of them. Somebody sneezes in Georgia, and that pink is turning blue. Just let <laughs> know. Yeah, so, so there's a lot of ballots out there, and I want people to really like look it up and not feel discouraged about this, but this weird orange man going on TV <laughs> saying that he won. <laughs> Clearly, like it seems like he he hasn't won um, as we as we go forward, but like so. This is like Black Power Magic Hour, you know. Check us on like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. We all up in there. Check out Jock Diva Genius's, you know, gaming streams on his channel. Um, and check out our clips on YouTube with uh, YouTube Act TV, which has over forty thousand subscribers, going up and up. Check us out on there. And that was Vote Out Twenty Twenty.